hello guys how are you today i'm going to take a quick session on google merchant center uh, i am going to tell you how to create a product feed in google merchant center which is related to google pla ads so we need to create a whole database of our products in a google sheet or we can also create a xml file of it uh, i will guide you through all these steps how to create a google product feed so let's start with google merchant center account first of all we need a google merchant center account on google like the url is merchants.google.com you have to go to the, this url and then with your gmail id you can log into that and when you logged in you will see a screen like this you will not see such kind of graph because you don't have any kind of feed set up yet so after you set up a product feed for your campaign then you will soon see such kind of graph so let's go to products now so this is home it will show us the home screen which is a show us the brief you know the what's the how our campaign is doing like how many how much products are approved and how much products are disapproved so this is showing us a graph view and when we go we have to set up a feed first so under products we will have to go to products and under products there is a tab named feeds we have to go to feeds and under feeds this is a feed uh, that i have set up for one of the client's account so if you have to set up a new feed you have to go to this you have to click on this plus sign and when you open it it will ask for some kind of information like the mode uh, either you want to test your feed or you are creating a standard feed so select accordingly after that the type like there are two types one is products and other is online product inventory update so on the difference between these two is that uh, we use online product inventory update to update our already created feed anything we want to update in our already created feed we will use online product inventory update else we will use products so to create a new you know feed and then we have select a country let's suppose i select india and then we have to select currency indian rupee and feed name whatever you want you can give then there are three options to upload your feed and the first option is google sheets i prefer google sheets always so i love to use google sheets to upload my feed because we can just we, we have to change uh, whenever you we want to change make any change in our product feed we have ju we just have to edit our google sheets so nothing else so and the second is schedule fetch uh, i i don't uh, you know recommend this right now so let's go to another that is upload in this we can you know upload of xml file or you can you uh, you will keep a file of uh, uh, we, we can keep a file on our computer and then we will upload it from there uh, currently it is you know supporting xml file upload it is not supporting csv or X, uh, xls files right now so i prefer google sheets select google sheets from here and then select we'll click on continue then it will ask for uh, generate a new google sheet or you are using you will you want to use an existing google spreadsheet so select accordingly whatever you want if you have already uh, created a spreadsheet then you can edit su uh, such th uh, the things you want to edit in that sheet else you will select a generate a new google sheet and it will open up a new sheet when you click on this and uh, this is advanced setting and this is asking for whether you want to enable your feed for shopping yes i will click it yes because the ultimately the goal is to show these you know products on shopping ads so create and upload schedule if you want to create a schedule like how how uh, frequently you want to you know fetch your feed from that sheet 
so it google will accordingly according to your schedule fetch that sheet at the time set up by you so after doing all these things selecting all these things you will have to click on save once you save and select it and create a new google spreadsheet from a template then it will open up in a new window like this so like this this is a google merchant center feed i have already created for one of our client it will ask for information like id the product id uh, whichever you have set up in your you know on your website there is a product id associated with every product and a title a title we can you know mm, she to so here it is id identifies each uh, it is required to identify each product id must be unique to an item across the um, account and the product must maintain the same id over time and the second thing is title so we have to give a small title to our product like i have given to multivitamin energy capsule for men so this is one of our product and then we described a little about this product what we are selling in this product what we are you know what's the feature of product we can describe over here in the description tab and then the link of product our website link it is a url of our website where the product is listed so and under condition there are two types of condition one is new and the other one is you know or used or you can say so uh, this is a new item so i selected i have selected a new here i have write a new and then the price whatever the price is associated with this product and the availability either the uh, whether the product is in stock or out of stock you have to mention in this tab and then image link so for every you know product then this is a link to our product on our website so we have to mention that link here and then gtin number there is a gtin number of our barcode for every product so we have to mention that gtin number here and then the mpn number this is also a kind of you know the id product id you can also mention a product id here or if you have a separate mpn number listed for each and every product then you can mention that mpn number here and then the brand brand name of which brand you are selling a product so you have to mention the brand name here and then this is google product category and product type google product category so how you can you know find out under which category your product falls you will have to go to google and search here go to google.com and then search here google product taxonomy you have to search google product taxonomy and when you click on this you will get all the categories like you see uh, this is all categories that google you know supports so you will have to find out wi under which category your product falls and then mention that category here in this tab google product category and then product type so there are like i have you know the categories health and beauty healthcare fitness and nutrition this product falls under this fitness and nutrition category and when i say product type so product type is vitamins and supplements here so this uh, this is how we can you know mention these all things so this last one is promotional id so this is associated to all promotions that we are giving to our on our products so i i am not explaining this in this session so i will explain this in my next session so when we created this you know feed then we have to save this just do control s it's already saved when you have written something because it's a google sheet so it's automatically saved so when you go to you know your feeds data I have not created or completed this task of feed because I have already created a feed for my client. So uh, when I when you go to that feed, this uh, the the feed created by you will show under this products tab in feeds section. 
so whenever you you have created you have done with your google sheet and your merchant center uh, feed whenever you done with this thing you just have to close this and come back to google merchant center goes to feed tab and there you will see your feed here you just have to click on this and what you have to do is click on fetch new fetch now i'm not doing this right now because my items are already processed so you have to click on this fetch now so once you fetch your items you will you have you will have to wait for one or two days and then you will see in the diagnostic tabs how many products how many of, of your products are approved and how many of your products are disapproved like here it is showing disapproved products are five products and under active it is showing nine items so five of my products are disapproved and nine of my products are approved so i can run my ad for these nine products and rest of products they they are under review and once they are reviewed manually by google and they will get approved soon and then we can run ads for them as well so this is a quick session on google merchant center account and how to set up your product feed in google merchant center account i hope you guys like it and if you like it then please share this video and click a like button under thank you thank you very much